In the course of a day, we paint away, we paint away, and the words they say, what we're dying to say, they force you to think until you say, Hey gang, Juan Ozuna here, and today I want to talk to you about that beautifully challenging form of literature that we call poetry. But let me get back to my classroom first. Okay, poetry. <laughs> what do I have to say about poetry? Poetry has always been one of the most challenging units that I have ever taught. Every year when I begin my poetry unit, I always hear lots of moans and groans from my students about how hard it is to understand or how they don't get it. And I understand there's lots of abstract concepts going on in poetry for sure. And sometimes you're put to the side. Isn't that so good? <laughs> Wait, did you record that? And so, you know, this year, as I thought about how I wanted to structure my poetry unit, I was extremely happy to find a perfect, perfect book to complement this entire unit called The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. And so as we dove into all of the great poetic language and figurative language and sensory language that I wanted them to learn as well as techniques and stuff, uh, The Poet X, we use The Poet X in class a lot this unit. Uh, which was perfect because it wasn't the sort of, you know, usual Shakespearean sonnet, you know, odes and classical literature that they were used to. So in the Poet X, this details the story of Ziobata, our female protagonist, where she's experiencing an internal conflict where she wants to start experiencing things that a normal teenage girl experiences, where she's liked by a boy and, you know, she's going to make mistakes. And we get to see her home life where, you know, she has this very religious mother, very absent father, and she has a more favored brother. But, you know, we get to see the story um, unveil. First, it wasn't what I expected because from the title, I originally thought that it was just going to be a book about a bunch of poems. But I really like how the author, it's, it's like a story, but every chapter is like a poem. And it's kind of like you said, like diary entries. And I really like that about the book. But the way that Acevedo really uses common language, I think, that the kids really related to a lot. Not everyone is going to enjoy like a specific unit and that we're all different and we just like to express ourselves in many different ways. The way that she has this character, Xiomara Batista, who is the exact same age as they are, going through the exact same things and feelings and emotions and you know troubles that she's experiencing. I really spoke to a lot of my kids. I, I was really happy to hear that a lot of my students related a lot to the character. I guess I feel like what she's like trying to say, like we, we always like just want to be like do our own thing. Our parents like stop us, you know. She's a 15 year old sophomore. We're sophomores, a lot of us are 15 or 16. And a lot of us are feeling what she's feeling most of the time and we can relate. And so I think to hear it from another perspective, somebody we don't know personally, to know that we're not alone in what we're going through and that other people feel it also so I think it's really good that this is embedded in the curriculum for us and to me I felt like that was a fantastic sign about getting them excited about poetry so as we went through this unit of course we analyzed lots of other poetry as well I was able to incorporate some fantastic poetry from Gloria Antaldúa from Amalia Ortiz from Los Tigres del Norte even which was a great a great uh, addition to this unit and and actually they all tied in extremely well with some of the big themes that we were covering this semester in terms of family and struggle and uh, Latino experience in this country. Following the rules of the church in a way though because she like doesn't want to take the communion mm -hmm. so that's why she spits it out but she's only doing it out of fear of her mom yeah because she knows like that the mom has a bunch of control over her. Burdens that um, her mom is putting on her makes her feel heavy and makes her feel small and yeah, just heavy. So what if he is just scared? It doesn't mean he doesn't like her anymore, but and of course there's a problem with not defending someone you're supposed to be in a relationship with. 
but what if he's just scared? And, and it all just fit together so, so well as the kids went through a variety of different activities where, you know, they worked together with each other to analyze certain things. They worked together with each other to, you know, create their own poems about you know what these different pieces were about uh they worked individually sometimes of course to you know write their own great thoughts and analysis about what was happening here uh, as the kids were looking at poetry in all of these different ways for me the big win was just seeing them get really into it and get really really excited about what they were reading and uh what they were noticing and, and what they were experiencing through all of it i feel like our poetry unit really enhanced my thinking about like how other people enjoy like expressing themselves. I got more in tune with my feelings because I was able to use like figurative language to express that and it just made me more open-minded to like read in between the lines and understand that every word has meaning. You know as we went through this unit and I had kids write their own poems you know I saw them really really allow themselves to be emotional with it and heartfelt and you know really kind of dig deep and and they were thinking about words in ways that they hadn't you know before and so uh for me I, i'm just extremely happy that we got to you know have this book the poet x as part of our discussion this unit i was excited to see kids you know really come alive with the idea of poetry and what it meant uh, and, and I think it really I think it really meant a lot to them and it really meant a lot to me and and so I, I'm really excited about poetry again and I hope that they are too so thank you guys for watching I really really appreciate you checking out what we do here in class and of course if you ever want to see more you know what to do you know what to do there's a little bit somewhere somewhere here anyway <laughs> thanks guys